are you talking about high value woman? You're 17 years old. Like, what are you talking about? So I asked her, what is a high value woman? Like, where do you get that from? Where do you get that terminology from? And she proceeds to tell me that she got that from a Kevin Samuels video. <sighs> y'all, y'all, that's exactly what I did. As soon as I saw those two words next to each other, I was just like, oh my God, like this dude just won't disappear. How much proof do you need? introduce you to Mr. Kevin Samuels. Mr. Kevin Samuels describes himself as a relationship expert who gives narcissistic advice to insecure women who come to him for validation on if they're doing the right thing when it comes to anything dealing with love, dating, and relationships. And I want you to just pay attention to the way in which he talks to this woman, the way in which he berates her, the way in which he shuts her down, over talks her, and gaslights her. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect example of a narcissist. This man does not give women advice for their benefit, but instead for insecure men who think like him, for controlling men who want to dominate the woman. He does this because men like him, who are clearly working with a small package, a little ego, and clearly not enough money that he thinks he should have, needs to make them feel like they're more important or more significant than they really are. So what they do is they put down women. How much proof do you need? Uh, I heard this little old daddy, Kevin, Sam man, Samuels. He over here talking shit. Talking shit about the black woman. Now, why would he do that? I heard him say that uh, a black woman with a child is low value. Excuse the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> this one gets me all the time. How much proof do you need? Because <laughs> that means that, baby, your mama was low value the minute she stuffed your fat, thick head through her. You feel me? What happened to you, baby? Do you have a bad relationship with your mama? Did she do something to you? Was she a single mother and put men before you? Huh? Did she put you in fucked up situations, let you get touched or something? What happened? Because now you look at black woman as if having a child is a bad thing. Honey, the minute that that went to 10 centimeters, she turned into a goddess. <laughs> <laughs> Women turn into goddesses when they give birth. How much proof do you need? A goddess when a woman births a human being. Are you crazy, baby? It's, you sound crazy. You sound crazy. It sound broken. And now you a mascot to all the broken niggas out there. Huh? That's being done wrong or some shit. So now you don't even find value in a woman. In a woman that has a child. at A single mother? What? Somebody that's out here hustling and doing it by themselves? Is it that you just don't have the capacity to love like that? You can't love other people's children because you don't. You are shallow, baby. Your spirit is shallow. You don't have love in your deep. Is that what it is? How come these females have a problem with shallowness when they don't date short guys, when they don't date fat guys, when they don't date guys that make less money than them? Oh, I forgot. Females are excluded when it comes to shallowness. How much proof do you need? Most of us has been raised by another person, baby. That's helped along the way. Ain't nothing, ain't no love loss. Now you keep talking shit and calling us low value and all that shit. We gonna, I'm gonna have a problem when I see you. You SpongeBob square head ass nigga. <laughs> SpongeBob. Really? Can't take him serious, man. Childish. How much proof do you need? Huh? The minute I see you with that turtle neck, I'm gonna wrap that around that turtle neck, nigga. Show you what a woman do. Sorry, yeah. And this was clearly an invitation for Kevin Samuels to Hit it. Showing off the puppies, showing off the booty. How much proof do you need? I just seen clips. And what I do know is that he is very uh, uh, anti black woman. He triggers a lot of black women because. A lot of the things he says is very problematic for me because, you know, look at me. Look at me. 
I'm Coco Loco, I'm Pecan Tan. So of course I'm gonna sit here and be offended by some of the things that he says. But I try to always be objective when it comes to certain things. For me, he's just not my cup of tea. How much proof do you need? He's just not my cup of tea. And from what I can see, he has a fan base of insecure black women or insecure women in general and men that have this uh, distaste that don't like black women for whatever reason or women in general just I just it's weird like they just don't like black women they take pride in bashing and putting black women down black men just woke up one day and for whatever reason they just dislike black women MTR please tell her how much more proof do you need and I can say that because I actually have a couple of homeboys that actually like Kevin Samuels and every time they repost him it's always a clip of them downing a black woman or making her feel less than. That's just what I see. If I'm wrong, please feel free to write positive or informative comments in the comment section below. Well, allow me to give you some insight. This is volume 3 of the How Much Proof Do You Need series. Now why would we make a series of women bringing the foolishness and after every clip, some dude with a funky accent says, how much proof do you need? Let me quote Tupac on this one. And I quote, I'm not saying I'm gonna rule the world or I'm gonna change the world, but I guarantee you that I will spark the brain that will change the world. And that's our job. It's to spark somebody else watching us. We might not be the ones, but let's not be selfish. And because we're not gonna change the world, let's not talk about how we should change it. I don't know how to change it, but I know if I keep talking about how dirty it is out here, somebody's gonna clean it up. End quote. Rest in peace to Pak Shakur. How much proof do you need? And his pocket, he's realized is, okay, my audience, they like when I attack black women because I promise you, I promise you, if he was attacking a white woman or white women all day, his ass would have been canceled a long time ago, okay? YouTube would have shut that page down with the quickness. Are you sure about that? How much proof do you need? See, this is what this is what this OnlyFans economy has done. It's let women with really low functioning knowledge, no high value or high it's ticket skills. Me. That's not low functioning large knowledge. What? Functioning large knowledge. <laughs> Replicant fish. Shout out to Skeletor. And of course, fresh and fit. Keep up the good work. Kevin Samuels will check the women that need to be checked. It's as simple as that. It doesn't matter if you're a black woman or not. How much proof do you need? She. Why are my black sisters? so lost in their thinking that they feel like they need to go to a man's channel a person's channel i'm sorry like i said i don't know what gender he identifies with what the fuck you gotta be kidding me man how much proof do you need but why do you feel you need to go to a person's channel who has not given any <laughs> helpful advice for women. <laughs> not any. Kevin Samuel's followers <clears throat> are men who identify men or trans folks or women. I think it's mostly men and maybe trans men who identify <clears throat> with the ideology of what is called the black manosphere. Oh my goodness. How much proof do you need? Something that's deeply troubling within the black community, right? And that is the fact that $100,000 a year is seen as like, oh, that makes you high value when it's not even really that much money. <laughs> How much proof do you need? Like, that's how bad black men are doing collectively for a black man like Kevin Samuels and his droves of followers to say that being a high value man means you make six figures. When many more black women make six figures than black men. So it's just like. <sighs> how to contradict yourself. How much proof do you need? 
so we have a comment from Archer ain't shit. Oh my gosh. Archer says, um, did she really say a hundred thousand dollars? Isn't that big of a deal? Um, is she crazy? Is she crazy? So here's the thing, Ar Archer. So because the video that she's responding to, which was the Kevin Samuels video, um, because that video is geared towards quote unquote high value men, um, which means men who usually have their stuff together, usually men who are financially stable, um, because it's geared towards this quote unquote high value man, $100,000 really ain't nothing. Like men who really have wealth, people who have wealth, a hundred a hundred thousand dollars can go like that right like it's not it's not that impressive it, it's really not and you know personally i got my undergraduate degree from uh from an ivy league school okay like i went to school with children of billionaires okay they would laugh at a hundred thousand dollars all right and i know most people don't have a hundred thousand dollars i realize that but if we are specifically talking about this quote unquote demographic of high value men, a hundred thousand dollars shouldn't impress anyone if, 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 you know, Kevin Samuels is really out here talking about high value men, high value men have at least a hundred thousand dollars. How much proof do you need? It must not be a big deal considering the fact that only one out of 10 Americans make $100,000 again, again high value men right like if kevin samuels is talking to high value men that's the least that they should be making if not then i mean they're average and most people are average that's the point of the video right 100k is not a lot of money but only 10 percent make 100k a year she agrees that most people are average but she has a problem with kevin samuels calling a woman that makes six figures average at best a woman making six figures doesn't make her more attractive in a man's eyes they just don't get it. How much proof do you need? I hate to break it to you, Kevin, and, and all your fans, but it ain't about what you teaching. It's not about what the husband think, the boyfriend think. It's not about what these modern women are doing. Everybody is just going with life. Everyone is just trying to figure this shit out. And I think that it's poisonous for him to, you know, display this notion of what a modern woman is. It's a myth. The modern woman is a myth. I'm tradition. I'm a traditional modern woman. I have traditional values. I believe that the woman is supposed to cook. The woman is supposed to clean. She's not supposed to lift a hand up and do any heavy duty work. I believe a woman is supposed to nurture. I believe she's supposed to take care of the children, take care of her man. I believe all of those things. And I did all of those things. And you know what? None of those things worked. And you can't say it's because I'm unattractive. My breath doesn't stink. I'm not unattractive. I'm a size six. After I had my daughter, I got back down to a size four. I worked out. And I'm still single, Kevin. I'm still single after all of that. So this is this modern woman shit is a myth. It's a whole myth, okay? It's a myth. It's a myth. How much proof do you need? Men who clearly have mama issues or were brokenhearted by a woman that they maybe really cared about at some point. So what do they do? They take their frustration and their resentment out on the population of other women. What boggles my mind are the amount of women who actually go to this man for advice, who actually listens to him. They actually go to him for him to literally qualify them on a scale from five to eight or 10 or whatever to determine what their value would be to a high value man when he himself is not even high value. He's not even attractive. He doesn't have the quality of a good man. He doesn't have a successful relationship under his belt, but women are literally going to him as the go-to expert when it comes to all things love, dating, and relationships. How much proof do you need? You want answers. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. How much proof do you need? I can do this all day. So much more evidence stored in the evidence room. This video has officially been highlighted!